Hey guys, this is Del and uh, today I decided that I'd go out on a limb and purchase the new Dead Island DLC, Rider White. I'm going to give you a honest opinion of it after I finish this playthrough, it's supposedly not too long so hopefully I'll be able to get it all up on the channel for you to see. Um, but yeah, I'm not expecting much, you know, it was only 7 99 so you can't expect miracles, can you? But honestly, I like Dead Island. I never had problems with it, unlike most people seem to have. Um, yeah, the, the story wasn't great, but Ryder White was definitely one of the most interesting characters in that game, in my opinion. So, uh, stop my talking and let's get this going. Yes. Okay. 18th of July 2006. Interviewing Ryder White, a colonel in the Australian Defence Force. I need to ask you some questions, Colonel. Yes, sir. Are you prepared to follow any and all orders from your commanding officer? Of course, sir. Are you prepared to kill the enemy without hesitation? Yes, sir. If necessary for the greater good, are you prepared to kill civilians? Yes, sir. Are you prepared to kill this enlisted man? Yes, sir. This fellow officer. Yes, sir. This young girl. Let me guess, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Will you kill this woman? Yes, sir. Y yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of yes, sirs in the space of, what, a minute and a half? You think he won't push the button because of her? He hesitated. Which is why he was reassigned to That looks a lot like that so Shang Mei or whatever her name is. Can we get her to the island? The uh, Asian woman you can play as. She's been there six months in the now, full game. And I believe she's the best chance we have to slow him down. Well, at least it actually has an intro this time. So, it's a good start. We're approaching the slums, Colonel. No, it's never a good sign in a zombie movie slash game. Let's just do this. There's still people down there, Colonel. Irrelevant. Execute. All right, boys. On Colonel White's order. Show us the fireworks. So far, so good. Oh shit. And so it begins. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. More yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And load in. <laughs> so far, it seems pretty good. Um, if I remember correctly, this Ryder White was the guy that was the final boss in the game. Sorry if you haven't finished the final game. And uh, he was trying to save his wife, so I imagine the story is mainly going to be around that. And I think this is set two weeks before the uh, full game, so let's check it out. Super 64, do you read me? Base to Super 64, do you read me? I'm all right, I just banged up a bit. Has Unit 4 been evacuated yet? If not, have them pick me up on the way back from the bridge, over. Sorry sir, we lost contact with Unit 4 in Zone 1 before they managed to reach the target. What are you saying? They didn't blow the bridge yet? Jesus Christ. <sighs> all right, I'll reconnoiter the area and see if I can locate them, over and out. Copy that, Colonel. Watch your back, sir. Right. Sorry for the sudden pause in video there if you've seen that. I'm not sure if you did. It was just me switching to the controller. 
I find it a lot easier to use a controller on this game rather than a mouse. So, anyway. I must admit, so far so good. So far the story is more interesting than, than the whole story of the uh, original, so. It's a shame there's no co-op, but it seems totally understandable when you consider it's just a perspective of one character, so. Little bit of platforming. <laughs> we request that all citizens oh, please remain this? inside. Anyone on the street will be considered hostile. Take it all. Oh, that's not sprint. That's a sprint. Oh. Well, I've got a weapon. Now, I don't know about you guys, but personally, I preferred the first part of the game, the original game, because I like the fact that you had to just grab any little piece of crappy weapon you could find so you like you know you're using a paddle or an iron pipe once you started getting all these weapon mods it got a bit too easy I find oh talk of weapon mods take that shocking crowbar I'm a searcher by the way, so I apologise if I bore the hell out of you by searching around every little area. I like to get my money's worth. <laughs> right, hit, yep, yeah, it's that button. Well I can hear something. Oh! Get some damage there! What a start. The night, uh, the setting of having it night time I find a lot better. That's the only thing I missed from the original game is it didn't really have any night time. And I think you need a bit of night time for a zombie thing. Oh. Okay, so we got a spiteful homemade knife out of him. Now is this one going to get up? No. Diving knife? A phone? Okay. Ah, yeah. Well, I'm not sure I'm giving you a lot of items. Right, that's a suicider. I can see it down there, but can I reach it from here? That's two suiciders. Oh, what a bloody shit hell. Next weapon. Oh, no, he's in the way. <laughs> now that worked out good. Anything here? Okay. Oh, weak morning star. I think I'll take those knives back because that's pretty handy. <coughs> All right, I've got trouble. Oh. Ah, well that's handy. 